This is Tamika's New Dress, written by Ronnie Sidney, illustrated by Tracy Van Wagner. Tamika is an eighth grader at Kemet Middle School. After Tamika gets into trouble for pushing another student, she is sent to the principal's office. Principal Lopez. Tamika, this is your third referral this week. Miss Chen also told me that you have an F in science. What's going on? Tamika, you are one of the brightest students here at Kemet. I'd hate to suspend you. Please, Mrs. Lopez, don't suspend me. I I'm so sorry. I'll pull up my grade and behave. Just don't send me home. I'm not going to suspend you, Tamika. Is there something going on at home? May I speak with the guidance counselor? Quote, I never told anybody. I just buried it as deeply as I could and kept people at an arm's distance. I never really let a person get too close to me. I was a kid and I had no power or control over the situation. I really wish I had the strength and the knowledge to say something sooner. Queen Latifah, American actress and recording artist and abuse survivor. Tamika's guidance counselor calls Child Protective Services and makes a report of abuse and neglect. Child Protective Services interviews Tamika and decides to remove Tamika and her brothers from their home. Tamika, my name is Mrs. Ross and I will be your social worker. I'm here to help you and your brothers through this scary time. Where's my mother? Is she in trouble? No, she's not in trouble. Your mother is dealing with some tough issues right now and needs some help. Some really nice people are going to work with her and help her get the help she needs. Fact. In 2014, Child Protective Services agencies received more than 3.6 million referrals involving more than 6.6 .6 million children. The largest percentages of, rep of report sources of alleged child abuse and neglect were legal and law enforcement personnel, education personnel, and social services personnel. Where are we going? I spoke with your grandmother and she will take care of you and your brothers while your mother gets well. I have noticed you have a, that you have a notebook with you. Do you like to write? Yes, ma'am. Well, I want to write... I want you to write me a poem about your life. Hmm. Tamika begins writing in a notebook. Some nights I think about my daddy. He died when I was three. I know that he's in heaven, smiling down on me. I didn't grow up easy. My life was very hard. I used to go to bed hungry, then say my prayers to God. Protect my brothers and me, and keep us safe from my stepdad. Please don't let him hurt us whenever he's drunk or mad. My prayers were finally answered when my stepdad went to jail. But we had to leave our mommy because she needed to get well. I am a queen like Nefertiti, Nzinga, and Nandi. I will rise up like a phoenix and leave my past behind me. One week later, Tamika's grandmother enrolls her at Bland Middle School. Tamika missed her old friends, but looked forward to meeting new ones. On Tamika's first day of school, she meets Nelson in Miss Gonkrowski's class. What's up? My name is Nelson. Hi, Nelson. My name is Tamika. Nice to meet you, Tamika. If you need anything, Miss Gonkrowski interrupts Nelson. Nelson, turn around and be quiet right this minute. Nelson hands her a note. After class, Tamika is confronted by Misha, the school's bully. 
And you must be the new girl. Hey, Light Bright. You must think you're cute like Becky with the good hair. No. Just because you're light skinned doesn't mean that you're better than anybody else. I never said that. Nelson interrupts Misha. Misha, leave her alone and sit down somewhere with your black self. Ah, uh, look at Nelson talking up for his little girlfriend. <laughs> Note. Colorism is defined as an intraracial system of inequality based on skin color, hair texture, and facial features that bestows privilege and value on physical attributes that are closer to white. Later that afternoon, when Tamika gets home from school, Tamika's grandmother sees her upset and asks, Baby, what's wrong? This girl named Misha keeps bullying me. She teases me about my complexion and calls me names. Fact. The 2012 United States Census Bureau Current Population Survey reported that about 10% of all children in the United States lived with a grandparent. Of children living with their grandparent, age 18 and younger, an estimated 2.7 million grandparents were the primary caregivers for the children. Tamika, God made us all unique and special. You're beautiful and intelligent. As long as you know that, no one should ever be able to make you feel differently. You hear me, baby? Yes, ma'am. Quote, It actually probably saved my life. It is the reason why I am where I am today, because my grandmother gave me the foundation for success that I was allowed to continue to build upon. My grandmother taught me to read, and that opened the door to all kinds of possibilities for me. Oprah Winfrey, American media puppeteer, grand family. I have an idea, baby. Run upstairs and get Grandma's sewing machine and African wax cloth. After Tamika fell asleep, her grandmother sewed her a new dress. Fact. Compared to other ethnic groups, African American children are more often raised primarily by a grandparent. These children are also almost twice as likely to live below the poverty line compared to children whose grandparents are not primary care caregivers. The next morning, Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful, Grandma. I look like a queen. You are a queen, Tamika, just like Nefertiti. I can't wait to go to school and show off my new dress. During lunchtime, Nelson sees Tamika in her new dress and nervously says, T Tamika? Yes, Nelson, it's me. Wow, I like your dress. Thank you, my grandmother made it for me. Tamika grabs her lunch and sits at the table with Nelson and Jeremy. Who does she think she is? An African queen? Nelson and Lightbright sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Tamika, just ignore those haters. Don't let them get you in trouble. Quote, I got teased my entire school life. When they were, were picking on, I don't even understand. It was my skin color, which was lighter than her classmates. Then when I got older, it was about my breasts. But I'm not victimized. I'm grateful. I think those experiences were strategically put together by God for the preparation of being in the music industry. Rihanna, Barbadian singer and songwriter. Colors. Tamika becomes angry and starts to ball up her fist. Misha stands up and approaches her from behind. Oh, you mad? Do something about it. Nelson and Jeremy jump up to hold Tamika back. Sit down. I'm fine. You know what, Misha? I am an African queen. I'm beautiful, intelligent, and perfect in God's eyes. The way you feel about me is not about me, but how you feel about yourself. Ever since I came to Bland, You've been making fun of how I look, and it hurts my feelings. I'm not stuck up or think that I'm better than anyone else. Actually, I think you are one of the prettiest girls in this school. Do you really think I'm pretty? Misha, what I've learned is beauty is created by your attitude, behavior, and actions. So love yourself and stay true to who you are. Our skin light skin 
เมล่าเนี่ยนั่นคือเรื่องของเรื่องทามิกัสนิวดรัสของรอนนี่ซิดนีย์อิลลัสตรีดบอยทรีซีแวนบอลบาร์